guys. So I wanted to make this video about me being on steam retention and me just getting off my last streak. Um, now that I'm off the streak, I want to make a video about uh, how it just went. You know, so I just ended my streak like like two days ago. So uh, yeah, man, finally feel good, man, to let all that out, man. It's been like it's probably been like a like a solid like a month. I would say like a month and a half, or like a month and a week. Um, but it's been some weeks though, like it's like some consistent weeks. Um, a lot has happened. You know what I'm saying? I've changed a lot in that amount of time. And um, yeah, I just want to get straight into it. And uh, you know what I'm saying? Just how my streak went. So it went good. My streak went good, man. Um, obviously, I tried to go for way longer, but um, you know, um, I feel like it's good to have that reset. You know what I'm saying? It's always good to like step back, you know, hit the drawing board again and um, see how you can come back even stronger. So uh, that's what I'm in the process of, you know what I'm saying? I'm hitting the drawing board, just taking notes right here. And um, basically just going over like, okay, next time, how can I prevent it? You know what I'm saying? Like, do I need to take more cold showers or do I need to exercise more or, you know what I'm saying? Like, what can I do to better myself? And you know what I'm saying? Just to keep continuing being on a, a better, stronger streak. and eventually turn it into a lifestyle so uh that's what i'm up to right now um and on top of that uh you know uh i just, I, I work two jobs you know uh i work out and then i also try to do social media on the side like youtube tiktok so it's like it's a lot to like you know what i'm saying balance all at one time eventually i'm trying to get to a point to where like uh I can, I don't have to work two full-time jobs and I can spend more time doing the things I'm passionate about. And, uh, you know, hopefully it'll just uh, make me better just all around as a person. So yeah, man, my streak went good, man. I was going hard, like cold showers every day, working out two, three times a day. I was going to work, working out at work. You know what I'm saying? Just being out there, bro. Just my energy, just ah, like just out there, like ah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, I love having that ah. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of dudes don't got that ah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, uh, felt good about that. Um, I ain't gonna lie. One of the reasons why I did a relapse on my sheet is because I was smoking weed. Like the past few days, I was smoking weed, and I don't even smoke weed. I quit smoking weed, it's just, well, I quit buying weed, but it's like, every time I'm out, it's like, my dogs are like, my dog would be like, hey, bro, come roll up, come smoke one, come smoke one, I'm like, damn, you know what I'm saying, your friends offer you a free smoke session, it's like, what you gonna do, my nigga, what you gonna do, you know, so, um, that was basically my excuse for relapse, and I was like, you know what? I enjoy myself, let me smoke, let me get something to eat, fuck it, like, let me enjoy myself, because I don't, I hardly go out, I don't do nothing, so I'm like, you know what, this will be my way of just enjoying myself, because I'm always here in my room, and I'm always at work, so, it's like, when you haven't been living, it's like, damn, like, you know what I'm saying, like, you want to do something, so, yeah, um, so yeah, that, you know what I'm saying? That was that, you know, and uh, I, uh, you know what I'm saying? I also quit, uh, like fast food, I'm trying to quit. Um, you know, uh, I stopped drinking soda. Um, I, st I stopped eating meats like that. I only eat like chicken. You know, like, that's really all I eat, like, chicken. Like, I stopped eating, like, red meat, like, pork, like, heavy meats and all that. I still eat meat, but not like I used to. You know, I slowed down. Um, you know what I'm saying? Dairy, I'm trying to cut out. 
know what I'm saying? Especially like milk and stuff like that. Try to stop drinking as much milk. Um, but you know, uh, I love to eat cereal though, so that's another thing I need to cut out. Cereal. Well, not spoil with the dairy, because I got to cut out milk. I love milk. I love cake. Like, all that sweet stuff I like, bro. So it's like, it's kind of hard to cut all that stuff out. It's kind of hard to cut all that stuff out, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just hard. Um, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, currently, man, I'm just trying to save my energy again. I'm starting up a new street. Um, I'm happy about that. So, yeah, like I said, man, um, I made a lot of changes to my life. Um, I only drink water now. Um, what else? Um, you know what I'm saying? I just watch out for certain things like that I see. Um, maybe like on the internet or something, I try to keep my eyes, I try to be careful about what I look at. And I also try to be mindful of the words that I speak, you know, cause they, they say words have power, you know, so I try not to say bad words as much and just keep it real, be a real person and just generally say what I mean. Um, I'm tired of faking, I'm tired of trying to fit in, you know, um, you know, if you know that you're different and you stand out, you know what I'm saying? Don't afraid to stand out and be different, no matter how people feel about it. Because at the end of the day, it's just, it's between you and them, you know what I'm saying? So, me, I just want to be a stronger, better, a better man for me and my family, uh, well, future family, excuse me. Um, and yeah, uh, I do plan on going for a longer streak again. Uh, I do plan on um, doing things better. Right now, I'm in Houston, so I'm trying to, I'm trying to leave states. I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I'm trying to leave. Uh, I'm trying to leave Houston. I don't know where I want to go to, but I know I do need to bounce around and go to different places. You know, I don't want to be stuck in the same place. You know, what I'm saying like you need to go out and network, try different places meet new people so eventually that's what I want to try to do um what city would I, would I try to go to next I don't know I don't know I could try some I can try something go somewhere not like it go somewhere else I feel like that's also a good thing like if you have an entrepreneurial mind just go different places try different areas see what place that you like um you know what I'm saying being being stuck in one spot is it's not bad, but it's like, you know what I'm saying? The world is so big. Why not go out there and explore what's out there? Meet new people. You never know who you're going to meet in a whole different state or country or whatever. So that's what I want to do. Right now, I'm trying to get myself a... Right now, I'm trying to get myself a whip. I'm trying to get myself a car right now. So, uh... Try to get me a car. And then maybe once I get my car, then I can... You know what I'm saying? Move out and try it. Branch out and go to other places. So. <coughs> God damn. So, yeah, what else? Um, yeah, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, those are my semen re retention. Uh, oh, the woman attraction. God damn, the woman attraction has been crazy, but... I haven't really been out to experience the woman attraction because I've always been like working at home. So it's like, I've never actually been out to experience that. You know what I mean? And, which is cool. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not where I want to be yet. So it's like, I don't want to put myself out there if I'm not, um, that's just me personally. I feel like I don't want to put myself out there if I'm not where I want to be yet. So, um, 
Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I'm a realist. I keep it real. Like, I'm not, I'm, I'm not the type of dude to pop out and it's like, you don't even know how you're going to get back home. It's like, yeah, all right. I, 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 I know. That's how it's how it's like. Women chats has been cool. Um, but it's weird. I feel like the attraction is not like, it's not like I thought it was going to be like, I feel like women, like, be trying to, like, avoid me. Because, like, they they can feel like, oh, my, this nigga not playing around. Like, you could feel that type of energy, like, coming from a dude, like, bro, you're not playing, you know what I'm saying? And they tend to, like, back away, you know what I'm saying? Because you don't, you don't play that. So, uh, well, especially when you're on, know, you're on a high streak and you just got that, ah! You know what I'm saying? You're not easily manipulated. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, you're just different. You're just, you're just rating at a different level. You know what I'm saying? So, I feel like the female attraction ain't cool. You know what I'm saying? They can feel me. Like, so, that's all it is. Nothing crazy. Um, but yeah, the woman attraction ain't cool. I feel like if I really tried to take advantage, I feel like I could have really, like, tried to. Uh-huh. Put smack down on the girl, you know what I'm But it's not even about that. I'm more focused on, like, running my business, trying to be successful. That's what I'm focused on, you know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, when you when you lose, that's on you. They're not going to care about you when you lose. You know what I'm saying? When you're up, they don't care about you. They don't like you when you're up. But when you lose... When you go hit back down the bottom again, bro, it's just going to be you. So, at the end of the day, you got to choose. It's between, it's between, just between them or you, or you or them. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I just pick me every time. You know what I'm saying? Like, whenever I'm on a high streak of senior retention, I always think, like, like, it's always in my head, like, start a family. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's how, that's always how I think, like, start a family. You know what I'm saying? I'm a man of God, you know what I'm saying, I read my Bible every day, like, when I'm on high streaks, I think on that type of level, whenever I'm on low streaks, I just want to, you know what I'm saying, they already know, but I don't want to do that no more, you know what I'm saying, uh, I've been trying to read my Bible every day, um, just trying to pray every day, just trying to be strong, you know, it's hard, it's not easy, but, um, I, that's what I try to do, and uh, I just try to stick behind that. Um, so yeah, um, what else more do I gotta say about me being on my street, man? Um, I've been reading more. I've been wanting to read more, gain more information. Um, and I feel like sometimes, like a relapse or even like a reset. It's really not bad because I feel like sometimes when you get on high days, you can kind of feel a little cocky. You know what I'm saying? And that's why I don't like, like, I just naturally feel cocky, like, and I don't like that. You know what I'm saying? I still want to be humble. I still want to be me. And I still want to feel as if I'm still a beginner, even though I'm on a high street and uh, I'm just, I'm grinding it out every day. I'm doing my thing. It's just, I still want to feel like, like, like I still have something to prove. Like I'm still a beginner. Like I, like I still haven't even done it. And that's the way I want to uh, keep it. And that's the way I want to continue to look at it. Um, yeah, man. Uh, what else? That senior retention energy is real, man. Uh, but I feel like for me, my thing was is that like, here's the thing. I need to be around people who are like motivated and other people who want to do the best of be, become the best of themselves in life and I feel like that's the reason why I want to move out of my area because I feel like you have to surround yourself with like-minded people who are on the same mission as you like if you're on a mission to become great and everyone around you is just like they're not they don't really care or like they're just doing the they're just coasting just getting by doing the bare minimum like nah because I feel like that type of energy is gonna rub off on me and I don't wanna partake in that 
you know, um, I want to be strong and I want to be around other strong, like-minded people. You know, um, that's why I feel like that's why I feel like I need to move out of my area because it's like I stick out too much, like a sore thumb. It's like nah, I don't want to stick out too much, and everybody notices me and they see what I'm on. Like, nah, I want to be around somewhere where everyone's trying to be great. Everyone's trying to focus on their business. Everyone's trying to like boom, boom, boom every day. Like people trying to get it. Yeah, you could take a little bit of breaks here and there. Yeah, 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 but be around like-minded people who can help you and pick you up you know what i'm saying the people that i'm around every day they're not what i'm on like they're not on some i'm gonna get it now 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 like i'm gonna try to get it and i'm gonna try to be the best i could be like nah <clears throat> there might be like a couple people maybe one or two people at your job who are like focused driven who want to actually get it but to be honest it's like i don't really get that type of vibe from the people that i'm around Cause I'm 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 at work and I stay here at the hotel, so um, I don't really get that type of vibe. So I need to be around that. I need to be around that type of vibe. You know, I need to be in coffee shops where there's, you know, what I'm saying, valuable people, and I need to be in libraries and just these type of areas where there's people that I can learn from and be great from, and you know, what I'm saying, not feel like. I'm an outsider or not feel like I'm invading their space or anything like that because we're on the same type of we're on the same type of time you know what I'm saying where I'm at it's like you know what I'm saying people just do them I feel like people don't really people just go to work and go home like I need more than that like I want people who are like trying to you know what I'm saying better them, them, them those type of people I need to be around and that's why I'm leaving my area you know what I'm saying? Because I don't want to offend anybody, but you know, people who are really trying to get it every day, they don't really care. They're going to get it every day regardless. And that's what I'm trying to do, and that's the path that I'm on. And uh, I will accomplish that goal. So, yeah. Um, greatness, man. Um, I'm trying to be great. Um, I'm trying to do social media save up enough money hopefully i can get a car maybe a truck and uh who knows man maybe i could do something so that's what i got going on that's my plan um uh what else uh yeah man and i'm um, just trying to be the best i could be i'm not i'm not compete with nobody I'm not trying to outdo anybody. I'm just trying to be the best me that I can be. And um, if you like, if you on your streak and you ended it and like, or you react to something like, it's cool. But you know what I'm saying? Uh, just have a reset. I ain't gonna lie. It feels good to let it all out. Like, I feel like I let out like all the nerves and all the tensions and all the built up like everything. Like I just let it all out, and it was like, it feels good to just start fresh again and. You know what I'm saying? Not hold all that weight on my back. You know what I'm saying? Like, if, honestly, I can say that it feels good. And I feel like now I can go back to the drawing board, reset, and 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 go into my next streak. You know what I'm saying? Going stronger with a stronger mindset and um, a more resilient mindset. But I feel like every streak makes you better because you learn something. And that's what you carry on to the next. So. Yeah, man, right now, man, I'm just focused on my business, working out, taking a little break from working out. I've been working out for, like, months straight, you know what I'm saying? Like, sometimes I do take, like, a week off or a few days off because, God damn, that's a lot of stress on my body, bro, you know what I'm saying? They need a break sometime, you feel me? So, yeah, um, I say Wednesday, tomorrow, I need to get paid, um, That's cool. Um, what else? I, I, I gotta go to work tonight, and then once I go to work tonight, I'll be chilling. And then uh, after that, man, I'll just be doing me, man. Um, I work every day of the week, so it's like sometimes I think you do need a break, you know what I'm saying?
that's all I could say, man. Um, if you're watching this, you know what I'm saying? I appreciate you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. Um, you know what I'm saying? Um, oh, shit. And, uh, you know what I'm saying? Whatever goals you out there accomplish, man, God bless you, man. I hope you achieve those goals, man. Stay strong and, um, you know what I'm saying? Just, you know, prepare to God for Jesus. You know what I'm saying? That's what I do. Like, whenever, like, whenever something don't go right or I just need to call on the Lord, I just call on Jesus. Like, Jesus, man. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes I just feel better. Like, all you gotta do is just say his name. Like, that's pretty much all I do. And, um, uh, it uplifts me, like, makes me feel better. So, yeah, man. Uh, stay strong, man. Tough times don't last. Be resilient. Just be cool. You know what I'm saying? Don't be stressing too much. And uh, that's really all I can tell y'all, man. I love y'all, man. Appreciate y'all. The people who, the little people that watch my channel, thank y'all, man. And um, I really appreciate y'all. Peace. You did.